right, welcome back to Gold Gutters. I'm your host, John, um, with Scott here, and we're minus uh, somebody, as we talked about last week. Yep. Um, got, we got more room at the desk. Yes. And then, <laughs> yeah, on a warm day, too. Yeah, really that hot works. here in wonderful wherever. Well, you remind me, we're in western New York. Western New York. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Robin's here back there. She'll be uh, helping out later on with her questions of the week. She's got a couple of them. Wade, of course, is here, and hopefully he'll have some stuff. He always does, but he's working the, the board. Yeah. So he's good. Thanks, um, how have you been, Scott? Good, man. good, good. In this last week? Not a lot to talk about lately. I mean, a little bit, but, you hey. know, a lot of the craziness is kind of... Yeah. Well, in the NFL, definitely. In the NFL, yeah, yeah, yeah. The NHL, Which though. Which is going to drive us yeah. like we were discussing before. Well, that, we'll discuss that yeah. because we know, we, we, we agree, it's betting and oh, fantasy. It's amazing. Because otherwise, some of these games below, they're Sports terrible. It's like 24-7 now. It seems yeah. like everything. Yeah. Yeah, no, no doubt. Speaking of that, we've got our, uh, he's kind of like, he's kind of like our goal getters, NHL, and it's nice of him to do this for us, NHL kind of analyst. Mm-hmm. Um, he's a writer. Um, in for HockeyBuzz.com, the Fischler Report, you he will be at every uh, home Maple Leafs game for the playoffs as they send him up there from the, at the press box. So it's really good. We have a lot of uh, stuff to talk about. And Mike, Mike Agello is here with us. Hey, Mike. Good evening. How's it going? Ah, uh, well, busy time of year, as you said. Uh, a lot of you know eight playoff series. Um, covering them all. I mean, covering them specifically the the Leafs series. I'm. Uh, going up to Toronto to cover that uh, game seven uh, tomorrow night, and it's going to be uh, going to be an interesting time. Yeah. Yes. Um, let's get into something before I get to the beloved uh, Maple <laughs> Leafs. And I know you now, Mike. You've you've been able to get out of the cult. I you know I listened to your show on Twitter, and it's a great show. Love it. You got to find his. You find his Twitter page if you're a Maple Leafs. If you're just a hockey fan, what sometimes Mike will do these Twitter. I don't even know what you call them, but they're Twitter, spa- Twitter oh, spaces. Space is uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. go find Mike Agello on there. It was great last night. It was outstanding. I haven't gotten into one of those yet. I got to check yeah, it out. I loved it. And, um, anyways, you got out of the cult. So, um, good for you because I'm still in it. I try sometimes really hard, but it just comes roaring out. And before I roar out at you, Mike, I want to talk about these games, to, a couple of the games tonight. Um, mm-hmm. Actually, Wade, can we bring up the Sidney Crosby um, uh, hit with Truba? Yeah, and we could talk over this. Mike, I want your opinion on this. Is, should there have been a discipline? What do you know about Crosby's injury and if he's playing tonight or not? Well, um, Emily Kaplan of ESPN reported that it is a concussion. Um, and the, um, he's not playing in game six. Uh, he did skate very briefly um, uh, this morning in Pittsburgh. But um, I personally, if I had to guess, I don't think he's playing in the series. I don't think he's playing in the rest of the series. I think uh, Pittsburgh is going to have to win it tonight um, with all hands on board to beat the Rangers. Otherwise, it goes back to MSG for game seven. I don't think it was purposeful. I think it was, you know, I Crosby sort of, slumped down a little bit. Uh, Truba was, I think, following through. I don't think he was trying to concuss him. I think he was trying to make contact, but I don't think it was, you know, purposeful in terms of him being a concussion. I mean, honestly, um, I think this was the only chance that the Rangers had of winning the series down three to one was Crosby being out because he'd been dominating him and Gensel had been dominating uh, the Rangers and they're not getting, they weren't getting great goaltending out of Igor Shesterkin. So, um, you know, it's fortuitous. It's bad luck for Sidney Crosby, but, and, you know, you don't want to see him hurt, but, uh, and I don't, again, I don't think Truba did it on purpose, but I do think it's a, it's something that gives New York some life because up until game four, yeah. I mean, game four was the, the two games in Pittsburgh were disasters. The triple overtime loss was a disaster for the Rangers. And now they have a life after winning in game five, but, I've seen stranger things happen. You know, you, you, everybody sucks it up when a star player is injured. So uh, it's possible Pittsburgh finishes it tonight. Yeah, and then you mentioned uh, Shesterkin. I mean, he really. Um, I, I think that's one of the one of the things I'm really interested in tonight is to see his how he plays. I mean, I, I had this vision of him being pulled tonight. Would you? Would they ever? They probably would do that. I I imagine, Mike, if necessary, right? Or or well, would you say no? 
it's win or die, and he's yeah. the goaltender that they've you know hitched their wagon to. So unless he gets injured or unless they're down like seven nothing, I can't see them pulling him. I think he they're going to ride him. They're going to hope. And you know, I mean, one of the reasons that I was optimistic about the Rangers in the in the playoffs was was because of Shesterkin, but their defense in front of them really hasn't played that well. And their star forwards, Zabita, Jad, and Kreider, really haven't scored. And, you know, you're getting offense out of Panarin. Adam Fox is one of the probably top five defensemen in the league. But Zabita, Jad is supposed to be a number one center and really hasn't produced like it so far in the playoffs. And uh, Kreider scored 50 goals for the first time, and he's, I think, been a ghost since game two. So they need their big guys to show up, and they need their goaltender to make a big save. And we're with Micah Jello from the uh, Fischler Report and HockeyBuzz.com. Um, I want to ask you about this next series tonight. Um, Washington is uh, it's Game Six against Florida. Um, mm-hmm. I want your uh, your opinion, your thoughts. Can the Capitals go- bring it to Game Seven? Um, I find it hard to believe, but I found it hard to believe that Washington was in this series without Tom Wilson, but they were. They were up late in game four, up 2-1 in the series, had a chance to go up 3-1, got tied late, and then lost in overtime. Carter Verhage scores the goal. Mm. And then Verhage scores five points in game five, coming back from a 3-0 deficit. Um, Washington's had their opportunities, and they've blown them. Now the one optimistic thing for them is Verhage is out. Um, mm. But oh. but but Tom Wilson is out still for for Washington. I mean they're a veteran team. They've won a Stanley Cup. It's not impossible. But Florida to me is motivated and they're really deep and they got a lot of talent. So I find it hard to believe that they would lose. But it could it could go seven. And if it goes seven, then the pressure's on Florida. But I think Florida will finish it out tonight. And it's um, Washington's Samsonov, right? He's in net. Samsonov, yeah, yeah, he's in goal. Now, why don't we talk about the next one? And I love this series. Um, I, this one surprised me. Um, Calgary and Dallas. Uh, geez, that tonight is another game six, of course. And, um, Mike, I want the same thoughts. What do you think? Can Dallas bring this to a game seven? I don't think so. I mean, it's possible because they played really well and their goaltending has been great with Ottinger. But as the series has gone along, I think Calgary has gotten stronger. Um you know, I think early in the series, Calgary was essentially playing into the game that Dallas wanted them to play, and Matthew Kachuk was acting more like a, four, a third or fourth line enforcer energy guy instead of being one of the you know guy who scored you know forty goals. They need his offense, and only in the last few games have you seen Kachuk start to turn it on. Uh, Johnny Goudreau sort of break loose and some of the guys like Mangiapane and Backlund starting to score. I just think Calgary's a better team and not taking any way, anything away from Dallas because they played well. But I expect Calgary either to win tonight or to win game seven, but I do expect them to win. Yeah, I, I do too, Mike. I I, uh, I was surprised it even got this far. But um, the other thing I wanted to mention to you in the West, the Blues – and you know this, of course. They uh, they knocked the Wild out last night, um, four games to two. So now, are the Blues and Avalanche are they set up for round two? Yes, that, that okay. that's a lock. Um, now I don't know when that series is starting. I'm assuming it probably starts on Monday or Tuesday because Game Sevens um, in the one block are tomorrow night. And if any one of the series that we just talked about go to Game Seven, that would be Sunday night. So maybe it would start Monday, maybe it would start Tuesday, but not much longer after that. And uh, I want your thoughts on the Blues because they, to me, if I was an Avalanche fan, I'd be a little concerned. Um, ben- Bennington playing well and uh, and all of their they, – they won a cup too. Um, do you think they could upset the Avs? Anything is possible. I mean, the right. one thing that was surprising about that series was that um, St. Louis had a lot of injuries on the blue line. Some of their in, some of the injured defensemen, like Nick Letty and Bortuzzo, came back, but they had to play seven defensemen because they weren't sure they, they weren't sure how much they would get out of them. And with a team like Colorado that's just going to blitz you with so much offense, um, I would have felt comfortable if I was somebody betting against Colorado that Minnesota had won. Bennington's won a Stanley Cup. 
Uh, he took over from Billy Huso. They got offense out of Tarasenko, and they're you know they're an experienced team. But the injuries on the blue line really are are tough for them. Now I, they have a they have a puncher's chance, but I, I would favor Colorado in that series. And we're with Micah Jello from um, the Fishler Report and HockeyBuzz.com. Go ahead, Scott. Hey, Mike. Uh, so, who's impressed you the most so far? Like, what team has impressed you with their play the most? Well, it's funny because all these series are really close. I mean, can you say Colorado impressed you because they beat a bad Nashville team? I mean, I didn't think Nashville – Nashville barely made the playoffs and lost their goaltender right before the playoffs. So, you know, they had David Riddich and Connor Ingram in goal. So, <clears throat> yes, it's impressive that they swept, but they swept a wounded team. Um it's funny because teams that I didn't expect to push teams to seven games are doing that, like a team like Los Angeles, who is really young but has a veteran goaltender and quick, you know, a couple really good forwards in Philip Deneau and Anzi Kopitar. The fact that they're, they've pushed Edmonton to a seventh game without Drew Doughty is impressive to me. But the thing is, I, I've been bashing on Edmonton all year. They're an extremely – they have two of the best players in the league, league and they're extremely flawed they have a 40 year old goaltender uh that defensively they're not very good so the fact that la pushed them to seven games you know i give them a lot of credit and they might actually win because they've won twice in edmonton but edmonton's not a perfect not a perfect team and if edmonton plays calgary in the next round i think calgary is going to pile drive them so <laughs> like like randy orton like a pile that kind of power <laughs> yeah. so um but you know um I mean, there have been a number of impressive teams. I mean, yeah, I didn't expect Pittsburgh to, to beat the Rangers. They're leading 3-2. to two. I mean, so um, not, you didn't expect so many Game 7s? Uh, no, I mean, I thought – see, I'm not a fan of this playoff format. The divisional format sucks mm -hmm. because, like, if, for example, in the, in the West, St. Louis and Minnesota, teams that both had over 100 points, both had really good years – they had to face each other in the first round. So, you know, Minnesota loses, and now that excellent season is down the drain. Um, Toronto and Tampa, which we'll talk about in a few minutes. You know, Toronto had, to think, 115 points. They're playing the two-time Stanley Cup champions. If you would have had the conference format, they would have played Boston. Now, Boston had a good year, too, but Boston's not as good a team as Tampa. I think that the teams that have success in the regular season should have some benefit of playing – a lower team in the playoffs, but because they're stuck in the division, they're going to play somebody they've played four times during the regular season. And it's somebody that is really good. Like in the case of the Atlantic division, somebody who's really good. So I, I just don't like the setup. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely, it's, it, it's, it's horrible. And you know, Mike, tomorrow you're going to be up in Toronto, but if you're a fan of hockey, what a day. Um, it's like a triple header. Starting, I think, at 4 o'clock, Bruins, Carolina, then the Leafs right. at 7, and I believe Edmonton at 10. Um, let's start on the Bruins. Do the – who do the Bruins – I guess they could – is Freddie Anderson coming back ever? Has there been any – what's the word on him? Um, I don't think he's coming back for Game 7. Okay. Um, I, I don't exactly – I think it's a knee injury, which if it's the same – that was the same injury he had with the Leafs last year that prevented him from playing late in the, like for the last half of the of the season. Uh, they've gone with Auntie Ranta and Piotr Kochikov, and they, you know, when, when Ranta got hurt, they went it with the the rookie, and then they brought Ranta back because he's the more experienced guy. And he, I don't think he's the reason why this is a game set going to game seven. It's because the Bruins are a tough out. I mean, I mean, John, how many times do we see yeah. Pastor and? Bergeron, Marshan, and the, the, I'm sure there are teams out there that see those guys in their nightmares. Um, Carolina is a great team, but they, you know, they're playing with their second string goaltender, and um, you know, I think they've been there have been some distractions in that series, like you know Tony D'Angelo throwing his stick and losing yeah. his cool, and you know, I think he's. I mean, they were, there was a, if you saw online, there was a a, a chant going at the TD Garden. Uh, after the game or, or late in the game that basically said F you, Tony. So, you know, he's he's really uh, generated a lot of disdain for the for the Hurricanes. But that being said, it's a pretty equal series. The home team has won every one. I expect that to, to you know, uh, continue and Carolina wins. But I don't put anything past Boston because I've seen them win 
one too many times. So it'll yeah. be that'll be an exciting game seven. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Four o'clock tomorrow. Um, I want to talk about Edmonton LA before we get to Toronto. Uh, that's right. gonna be the late game, ten o'clock. Um, kind of yeah. covered it a little. I, I feel the same way as you. Flawed. I see Tyson Berry and, and the goaltending. Man, I guess LA could steal this with Quick. Um. Well, I, I heard something this afternoon that said that Dry Seidel was playing hurt. Um, mm. Put out a pretty good act because in Game Five, him yeah. and McDavid just ran rough shot over the Kings. They were leading three to one, then four to two, and McDavid and and Dry Seidel almost single handedly got that game tied before Adrian Kempe scored the game winner in overtime. Um, I don't put anything past L.A. in the sense that they're young, they're energetic, they have some feistiness, and they have Quick, who has won two Stanley Cups and has played really well in the series. And if Edmonton gets a bad goal and gets deflated, if Mike Smith lets one you know, through the pads, L.A. could win. But, I, I, you know, I picked Edmonton in seven, even though I don't like Edmonton as a team because I just thought the Kings were too wounded, and they've surprised me that they've actually gotten to seven games. Um, and anything's possible, but I think Edmonton will end up winning the series. Yeah, Mike, uh, you know, now we're going to go to the Leafs uh, Lightning, and um, I predicted the Lightning, as you know, Scott, I told you. Yeah. I thought the Lightning would win the series. Um, I didn't know how many games it would go. I didn't really have that on me, but I, I still think the Lightning are going to win the series tomorrow. Oh, I mean, I uh, hope so, too, because I put money on I know you, there when you, when you I know that, you right? did, but I, I, I do, <laughs> sadly, and I know it's probably just because I'm so miserably jaded and terrible and miserable and rotten just think nothing good could happen up in toronto mike i gotta hear from you um man w w last night was incredible i mean that was and it's not at carrie frazier like because obviously no. but that that high stick was a tough situation here it comes um you know it hit his well, shoulder pad go ahead it's okay it's not only just this i mean i didn't see this until after the game and you know, you saw the, the ruffling of the jersey and then, you know, the embellishment and, you know, and then like like um, reacting like his head had been chopped off and he, the stick had never touched it. Um, I What I had a problem with in the, in the game was the fact that I countered it. In the first five games between the two teams, the total was 52 power plays, over 10 a game. Um, so they were calling everything. If you sneezed, they were calling a minor. Game six, there were four minors. Three for three for Toronto, one for Tampa. And the one that Tampa, the penalty that Tampa took, they scored a shorthanded goal. So what my th issue is, you know, because some people were skeptical and saying, well, you know, maybe the maybe the the teams just decided because it was game six and everything was on the line, they didn't take as many penalties. No, there were penalties. They just didn't call them. Uh, Bunting got elbowed by uh, Cernak right before the uh, the, yeah. the Brayton Point game-winning goal. There were a couple other instances on both sides, and they weren't called. And the problem I have is that the officiating sets a standard, and then all of a sudden, when a team is facing elimination, they change the standard. So I, I, I have I have you know the one thing the Leafs can't do is blame the refs for the loss. Uh, they lost the game because they made fatal errors. Kerfoot giveaway on the Palat goal, a shorthanded goal by Sorelli, uh, the the two penalties that make the five on three, and then Kucherov scores, and then a breakdown defensively on the game winner where Justin Hall drifts out to cover Hagel, and leaves the front of the net wide open, and point is there to get the rebound and score. So it's not on the referees in the sense that they made a bad call like Kerry Fraser. It's on the referees for changing the standard, but it's really on the Leafs right. for not stepping on the neck of Tampa and killing them. And now you've given a team that has won two Stanley Cups that has Hedman, Stamkos, Kucherov, Vasilevsky, etc. a life. And you can't do that. And now, you know, I, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. People are saying, well, you know, Toronto is different this year. Prove it to me. Show me because I don't believe I won't believe it until I see it. I feel the same way. I don't believe it till I see it. I, there's no reason for me to think any different tomorrow because it's been happening pretty much our entire life. Well, you guys can see the, the game winner. You see Austin Matthews just fell and uh, and there we go. Um, you know, uh, it, this is the sad part for the Maple Leafs. Um, 
if if they had ever won a series in the last six years or whatever it's been seasons, this kind of a loss wouldn't be so dev. You know, you know, if they lost this series in Game Seven or whatever, Mike, it's so bad because if I listened to you last night and you were saying, is it possible maybe they just? It's not so much the players; it's just the way they play. Um, yeah, explain I, that to me a little. Well, I mean, okay, they're they're a team based on high skill, speed. Um, not a lot of, not a lot of toughness. Um, and if you notice the way they play, you know, it's mostly stick checking, lifting, lifting the stick, uh, winning puck battles, not by physicality, but by speed, you know, get to the puck first. Um, they have big players, but they don't play big. You know, uh, Mikheyev is six foot four, Engvall six foot five. They don't get pushed around, but they're not physical. They're really not. And you see guys like Palat and Kalorn. Uh, with with Tampa Bay, who play physical, they're ta- they're talented, they're skilled, and they play physical as well. Um, and uh, even Braden Point and Sorelli, who are smaller players, they play with physicality. And Stamkos throws his weight around when needs to be, although he's a skilled player. And Kucherov is a cheap skate, but he's you know he can do that because he's one of the best players in the league. So you know, and you've got a six foot seven defenseman like Hedman, who's not overly you know physical and tough, but he's a big body, and that's and he pushes pushes his way around because he can. Toronto doesn't play that game. They play a high speed, high skill game. And Tampa Tampa can play that game and can play physical. And that's why when the series started I picked the Lightning in six. Now I'm off on that because it's going to game seven. So it's a coin flip. But I don't see the the Leafs making any lineup changes going into game seven. That would be, you know, they, they could do it. They could insert a guy like Wayne Simmons or Kyle Clifford. But that would be – now, the thing is they could do that if they think that the referees will call the game in game seven like they did in game six. If you miscalculate and all of a sudden they're taking a bunch of penalties and Wayne Simmons is out there and takes a dumb penalty, that could cost you the series. So you don't know what's going to happen until – it's it really it's too late. But I, I, I just you know, Toronto is a talented team, but there has not been much proof that a pure skill team can win in the Stanley Cup. You have to have physicality along with that. You have to have defense along with offense. Now defensively they they're better. They're much better than they were a few years ago. There's no Jake Gardner's on this team or Ron Haynes. Right. Their defense is pretty good. But, uh, you know, Jack Campbell is an unknown commodity still. I think he's played well in two playoffs. But can he, can he stand up to it in Game 7? Last year, he let an early goal in by Brendan Gallagher, and that deflated the team. And the, the, the concern I would have if you're, for Leaf fans out there is that they've fallen behind 2-0 in the last three games. Yeah. Game 4, they got destroyed. Game 5, they fell behind 2-0 and came back. Game three, they fell behind 2-0 and came back. Is there a pattern here? They did the same thing last year against Montreal. They fell behind 3-0 in game five, tied it, lost in overtime. I think it was 3-0 in uh, in Montreal in game six, came back, pushed in overtime, and lost it on the Kotkaniemi goal, and then did not show up in game seven because they were verklempt. Because they, I think they were, I think last year was a choke because Montreal was nowhere close to being as good a team as they were. But you know, Tampa Bay is the Stanley Cup champions. You could say, well, they it was a valiant effort and they tried. Well, you had a chance to win, and if you if you lose Game Seven, there are going to be repercussions. The question is, what repercussions? I don't think Kyle Dubas is getting fired. I've talked to people up there who say, you know, he's safe. Um, that so Sheldon Keith is safe. Okay, so what's going to change? Uh, I think you have to change the roster and yeah. not. You know, ridiculously, but there are players that, that could leave that you want to keep, and there are players on the team that you might want to move now with their value being high. So that's what's on the line. If they win, then it's – then Kyle Dubas yeah. says, yeah. So much on they, the line. So much on the like, line. And, it's unbelievable. And, and, well, winning fixes everything. Well, yes. Yeah, winning always fixes but, everything. But think about what he's saying. He's yeah, right. No, I get what he's saying. If the Leafs lose, I mean <laughs> – what do you do with William Nylander? Are you finally going to move him? Because they got a core group of I four mean, is guys. Is that generally why the Leafs 
uh, never get past this point? Do they blow the roster up all the time after no. the season? No, 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 no. Okay, no. I, don't, I didn't follow they, this. That's why I have to ask. They, that. they, they changed the periphery. They, you know, they like last year. Okay, they had Bogosian. They had they brought in Nick Felino on a, on a trade. They didn't re resign Felino. They let Bogosian go to Tampa. They brought in. Uh, they made a trade for Ilya Labushkin. They they traded the, their big move at the deadline was Giordano. Um, you know they they reacquired Clifford. You know they they altered a few things. They they let Zach Hyman go, who was you know because they couldn't pay him, and they find Michael Bunting um, in Arizona, who they knew who Dubis and uh, Keith knew from the OHL. They brought him in. He was a perfect fit for with Matthews and Marner. And, you know, he's a, one of the rookie of the year candidates. So, you know, they, they, they changed the periphery, but they did not change Nylander, Tavares, Marner, Matthews, uh, Morgan Riley. You know, the, the, the core five. It's more of core four in terms of the forwards where you're spending almost $40 million on four players. And that's where the issue is. It's like, I mean, yeah. all this will come to the forefront if they lose. It's like, okay. You can't move Tavares because he's got a no-move clause, and he's you know in the latter half of the contract that he signed, and you know he's the captain, and I don't think that they want to trade him. Matthews is one of the best players in the league. Marner had a fantastic year. Neil underscored 34 goals. He's a really good player, but for you to make changes, for you to like add a defenseman or go out and make a, you have to clear salary. And the salary, you know, Neil under if you have somebody to replace him. You know, Nealander's a seven million dollar cap hit. That's that's to my mind, if you're gonna make significant changes and you know, John, you've watched the games. I mean, in game four, he dogged it in, yeah. at, at, in the, going in the one end, and then they sat him on the bench and he he got a wake up call and he scored two goals in garbage time. He's played better since then. But you shouldn't need to wake somebody up in the Stanley Cup playoffs. They should be playing with their hair on fire. And Nylander is not, but Tavares, Marner, Matthews, and most of the, the team are. Robin, you got a question back there? Yeah, I do. Um... I've been noticing, watching the NHL playoffs, an uptick in goals this season, and I was just wondering if you guys are seeing it too, and if so, what you attribute it to. Power plays. Power yeah. plays. They're calling more penalties, and teams are scoring more on the power play. Now, I don't like that. I'm a traditionalist. I, you know, basically my, my theory is unless you're bleeding, they shouldn't call them. And, but they, they've changed that. They, they, you know, that's, that's Neanderthal thinking and that's not what they do anymore, but they're definitely calling, they're actually calling more penalties uh, than they were during the regular season. So I think they're trying, I think maybe the league is trying to send a signal to the players that they want them to play less, um, less dirty, less physical, they're not going to stop. This is the playoffs. And the, the thing is, what happened in the Toronto series in game six is if that happens, then, you know, you've affected the early rounds of the playoffs, calling the games a certain way. And then if you change the way you're calling, then you're affecting it because you're not calling it. So I, I wish they would set a standard and stick with it. And the standard I wish they would have stuck with is, you know, unless it's a puck over the glass or a high stick where somebody's cut or just a blatant trip like on a breakaway, just stay out of the game. Call, drop the puck, blow the whistle, and shut up. Yeah, they have a hard time dropping the puck, too. My God, last night they couldn't drop the puck on the faceoffs. Really? Oh, false start after false start. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Mike, thank you for sticking with us. We went over time. But, um, no all right, tomorrow night you're going to be up there in Toronto, uh, Scotia Bank, right? It's called now, Arena. And um, all right, I mean, you, you, I know you said Tampa in six. Now you watched it all unfold. I already think I know the answer to this, I, and I heard it last night. But for our audience, um, it's just they're just not going to have enough the Leafs. I mean, because they have the sad thing is Scott, they haven't played bad. I mean, this has been as good as it get. I mean, this has been as I mean, good hey, as they've played. Taking the Stanley Cup uh, champions to, to Game Seven, that says something. Right. Mike, well, how, I mean, uh, go ahead, Mike. No, my my see, you know, and this is revisionist history, or this is going back. You know, I said three months ago the only way the Leafs were going to make it out of the first round was to win the division, because 
yeah. then they would play a team like Washington or a team, you know, like a team lower on in the standings. And you wanted Florida and Tampa to beat the crap out of each other. So now Florida wins the division. Toronto and Tampa are ki- kicking the crap out of each other. Now Toronto hasn't been injured or anything like that, but you know it's going to be a draining, physically draining series. And if Florida beats Washington tonight, then the winner, whoever wins Game Seven, is going to go into that series. You know, I mean, maybe a little more taxed than they than they normally would be. So, and you know, just I'm sorry, it's like the last team I wanted to face in yeah. terms, if you were Toronto was Tampa. That's the last team you wanted to face. And yeah, I was. That's what got. They played the Bruins, I believe, the last game of the season, the Leafs, and I. I mean, they should have played with no goalie the whole game and let the Bruins <laughs> win or something. Yeah, but Tampa, oh, Tampa, yeah, Tampa, Tampa won. Yeah. They Tampa won, so it was meaningless. They they, yeah. they were losing they were losing to Columbus, and at that point, I was like, you know, I don't care if you're sending a bad message to the Bruins. You know, put David Ayers in goal, let him yeah. like, uh, you know. But but it, it didn't happen. Now they have to beat the team that's in front of them, and really, I mean, it's going to be a tough task. Yeah. All right, Mike. This is Mike, Mike Ajello with us. He's been here. He comes on a lot, and I really appreciate your time. He's with the Fishler Report. Um, great hockey writer, HockeyBuzz.com. I guess be safe going up there tomorrow. Enjoy the game, and uh, I look forward to hearing what you got on Twitter as the game goes on. Will do. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Mike. Thanks, Take Mike. care. See ya. So, like I said, that was Mike Agello. Yeah, with, great uh, guy. He's always got great yeah. information. Oh, yeah. He's got a great insider, great. man. No, and, he, no. and he'll be there at one of the biggest games of the of the first Very round. Very this Very leaves, knowledgeable about hockey. Boy. Yeah, you know, it goes all the way back with me and him to AM640 in Toronto because well, – I used to call shows when I was younger, um, call in, uh, you know, a post game, and so did he. Well, I'm here in Niagara Falls, he's in Buffalo, and his name was Mike in Buffalo, and I, so we just kind of met, and uh, we, awesome. we did a podcast together, and uh, way back when, when it was just like on phones, and uh, Mike went on to bring himself all the way to uh, being a reporter and getting, uh, you know, press box. That's stuff. fantastic. So yeah, great guy. Great. Yeah. And we got to talk. You know what? Something else we got to get him on for is baseball. Obviously. He knows baseball yeah. really okay. good too. Great. All right, we got to take a break. Um, we'll be back with more sports. A lot of stuff. Take care. Be back.
Yeah, don't forget our store. The Gorillas Inc. store has all kinds of sports memorabilia, cards, and we got jerseys, we got hats, and then everything else. All kinds Anything of stuff. else you can think of, all kinds go of there. Stuff. Yep, and please check it out. Um, Gorillas, Inc. Shirts. Gorillas Inc. shirts are yep. beautiful. They're actually the nicest. They're pretty nice. Yeah, one of them. yeah we got a really cool, I'll tell you, Wade, great job. That is a really nice, I love it. I love how that looks. Perfect. Too, the more yeah. people that have them, the better. Right. Mm-hmm. So um, let's talk about the NBA for a couple minutes yeah. before we get in the NFL schedule release. <laughs> um, the NBA has been very good, too. Interesting. Uh, Everything's yeah. been yeah. very interesting. You know, the Heat um, knocked out the 76ers last night, so they're in the Eastern Conference final. Okay. Yeah. Uh, are yeah. you, were you going to stick with that for one second? Yeah. Because what, what is up with Harden? Yeah. What, well, is, what, is, what, is, what is that yeah. all about? How in the world? What is that guy's issue? It seems like it's every team. He's, he's got a problem. Yeah. How do you only have two shots? I agree. I know. How I, is that even remotely possible? You're one of the stars of the team. Well, Brook, Well, you got to wonder because Brooklyn pushed him out. I mean, that uh, was, that's what I'm saying. Know, I, so, thought, I, I wasn't sure. If, no, there's I wasn't an, there's, sure first. I mean, something, you know. Something, him and Chris just, Paul. Didn't just because they're stars never means they're ever going to mesh together. Him and Chris but. Paul never got. It just seems like there's just something. It seems like he seems to be the problem wherever he goes. It's not the other way around. Embiid breaking his orbital bone probably yeah. hurt, too. He well, was sure. out. He missed two games, I think, with the orbital bone. And, uh, and then he had to wear the mask. I got to bet the mask is uncomfortable. But there's no but, way. You can yeah, it's like that. that. Even though he's worn it before, yeah. it still yeah. has to suck. So, you got something on your face, so it's yeah. constantly bothering you. So the Heat won last night in Game 6, 99-90, and they were Which was they, a pretty well, much on. expected anyway. Yeah, yeah especially. It was expected to be as the series was supposed to be a blowout the first and place, I, right? For some reason, don't think the Heat is as good as they But uh, What do I know? I don't think they're as good as they I are. I just know what yeah, I've I know, heard. you're you right, know what I mean? though. No, that's, you're right. that's what everybody was saying. I mean, the Heat's supposed to be the champs this year. Great series going on with the Milwaukee Bucks oh, and the Boston Celtics. It. Oh, the Bucks, man! Come Bucks, on, Bucks are up three games to two. They're I think playing they're pull it tonight, yeah, seven thirty in Milwaukee. Uh, last game, Giannis had forty. Uh, Drew Holiday was the guy, though. Incredible Giannis defense is and twenty-four. A yeah, he's a freak. He is, he is the a Greek freak. freak. Yeah, freak. Yeah, I love watching that guy play. Jalen Brown for the Celtics, and of course Tatum. Just but takes over games, yeah. Drew Holiday was the key. I think that's why they won that that last game. Um, well, he definitely is. He, in the oh, last no thirty seconds, with the couple baskets and the turnovers he caused, it it, it changed the game. So, you know, I, I don't know. I can't I'm, even. Yeah, I'm taking. I, I got. I already, you already know who I'm. Milwaukee, because I picked right. him to win the whole thing anyway. So I'm, I'm going Milwaukee. I'm not Absolutely. sure. I can't wait tonight. There's I think it's going to be a great game. I'm seven thirty. Yeah, seven thirty for sure. Now, out west, um, tonight you have the Warriors that lead the Grizzlies three games to two at 10 p.m. in game six. Unfortunately, um, John Morant is done yeah. um, for That's the series. Shame. That is too bad. Uh, that it kid is. is one talented. Wow, he's another. Yeah. a lot of freaks. There. Now, game five, though, they, they beat Golden State 134 to 95. I know. With, I was pretty shocked. With three guys Desmond Bain, Jaron Jackson, and Tyus Jones each had 21 points, so they made up for. John Morant um, and and Curry only at fourteen. So it's I mean, kind they're of, not going to be able to sustain that. I can't more. imagine. Yeah, I don't. I just don't. I mean, yeah. Tonight in Golden State, that's tough. I mean, I could see him coming up for that yeah. game, like yeah. you know, proving a point. But yeah. I, that's hard. That's hard to sustain that without your star player, man. Yeah. And now we go to a game seven that is on Sunday: the Phoenix Suns and the Mavericks. Been a great series because of the the dislike, yeah, uh, of Luca and and, yeah. and everyone. And then he is a and character, isn't Booker, he? yeah, there, he's, oh, oh. yeah, he's he's something. He is a character, that um, guy. I think it's hilarious. Great shooter. People think he's yeah. obnoxious. He's ridiculous. Yeah, great. Oh no, he's he's unbelievable. Great shooter. He's huge. Uh, he is, and he's weird. Look, he doesn't look. And obviously, he's athletic. He doesn't look in but shape he doesn't at look, all. Right? Yeah, no, yeah, he looks yeah, like yeah. one of those guys. He's, he's uh, just like a thick dude running yeah. around, and he can ball. shoot from anywhere. And uh, I still think the Suns are the better team and will win. Um, I believe they win Game Seven. They have to because I picked them to win the championship. But I, I think they will win. I think oh, there's I mean, too much. Um, for, there's really just too much. Dallas, it's Luca. It's the Luca show. And oh, for um, sure. I mean, they know, go. Robin, the way is there he anyone goes, else so. there? Really? I can't think of anyone. No, Dinwiddie. Yeah, Dinwiddie and those guys. Yeah. yeah. Nobody, but Luca does have to distribute it a little because he does. They, oh, sure. It does get a little. But it is the Luca yeah. show, like you said. I mean, that's, Chris, and that that now, can only take you so far. I mean, we've seen Chris Paul's got to wake up. Game six, he played horribly. What is up with this? That? Is I think he just maybe, I think someone made a good point on one. I don't know what show I heard it on today. He might just be 
Maybe he's tiring out. He's, he is old. Yeah, Maybe yeah. a little. He's been but a while. he's got to have that. Tooth, this is it for him to well, win yeah, a title. Sure. So I'm assuming it's a great game out of him. And we'll see. It should I be think fantastic. They win. That's on Sunday. We don't know what time, though, yet on Sunday. I hope it's in the evening. Because you may have some other game. Well, no. I guess you would have a game seven in the, the Bucks and Celtics would be on Sunday also if they happen to go right. go seven. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. say out right there, does it? Yeah. So that's the NBA. Oh, go ahead, Celtics Ron. time is determined, hey. but the other one has Do you have a been. question? Did you have an NBA question for I, us? I don't have an NBA oh, question. Sorry. I have an NFL one and a general sports one. Do you want to give us a general sports one before we get to the NFL? Sure. Um... And Mike kind of touched on this earlier, but just not particular to one sport, just in general, I think the officiating has been more prominent, and I'm just wondering if you guys think the officials are injecting themselves into the game, or are the leagues pushing it to make the officials more relevant than they used to be? I mean, you don't usually know every official's name or who they like and how they call it. NBA and NHL have had a rough time this playoff with this, um, with with the I officials don't... really. Well, did the league come down on them? I haven't or heard not? anything. No, I don't know. Not I that mean, we know so of. So then that's probably not the case. I mean, because yeah. generally, like in the NFL, you'll hear. Yeah. I, I, don't, not, I don't know so much the NFL comes down on them, but you hear them talk about it throughout the week, and you hear the talk about how bad the officiating is, and uh, this, this needs to be discussed, and yada, yada. So if there's not any discussion like that, no. then I don't know. That's a, I mean, it. No, there's been no, but you know what it is? It's kind of like what Mike said about the NHL. When you were not long ago, and it was all the time, in the playoffs, it was. I thought it was generally how it was supposed yeah, to be. Playing, I mean, it's, yeah. you get there, it's it's on. You yeah. Know, hands off for the most part. And they've kind of. Now they. From the game. Well, they switched, though, and he is right. Games one through five in that Leaf series, and I think in other series is two, were called in a way, like 10 penalties. I mean, it's unbelievable how many power plays these teams had. And then yesterday was just, um, it was back to the regular style of playoff yeah, hockey, so you can't which have was that. fine for me watching. I don't think the teams even really cared, other than when you see Matthews being grabbed and someone basically using him like a, uh, you know, like he was tailing, I, that's got to be a penalty in any time, you know, because you can see those, you know what I mean, you can see the thing. They blew the call with the stick, the high sticking, like we showed. The other high sticking it's one. It's the consistency. Yeah. The other high sticking one was I a mean, tough one. Too. And I don't even know how you get that. Yeah. You know, I, re- I don't. Fast I, sport. I, because, because they're all humans as well. So you got that factor. So you really, really, truly never know what affects their call, honestly. What gets but. me is there's been times in the NHL where they've reviewed stuff and I've switched seen that. things. Last night, they didn't even show that on TV. Really? We never saw the replay. In a playoff game? Never seen it. I found it on Twitter. That's someone weird. was going crazy on Twitter, some Leafs fan, and I saw it. I go, whoa. And then I saw it. I was like, holy cow. They never touched him with huh. the stick. You know, he, he got right here. What's that and, all about? Yeah, weird. They didn't. And I'm going to say another thing before we get to the NFL. The American coverage of NHL hockey is just garbage on TBS, TNT, and they ESPN. They have announcers, huh? Horrible. Absolutely horrible. They have one good crew, but the rest is just... I. I don't know. I don't even know why they bother. I just give us the just give us the Canadian feed and just put it out there. You know what I mean? Whatever yeah. network you want to put it on, because they're just it, it's it's a horrible. It, it makes a big difference play by play. I think in sure. hockey, you know, sure. and it makes uh, it exciting. It makes it more fun yeah. to watch. Get you into the game. And they're saying, and here's for me because I like the broadcasting end of it. Sometimes they don't even know the names. They'll be putting up names of guys that aren't even in the lineup, or they'll call someone. A wrong name. You can't do that when you're doing the play-by-play. Oh, no, play. no, that's a big if no, that's no. number six, If that's number fifth, number, I don't know. Oh, they did you it know what the weird yeah. part is about yeah. that is it's not even, there's not even that many people that you have to remember. Right. Yeah. Well, it's not like a football team where you've got offense and defense. Right. You know, and you've got to try to re- remember no. all those players and stuff. And but. I get it. It's going fast, going fast. But I even see, like, the production of it. They'll pop up a name of a guy that the Leafs, these he hasn't played since I don't know. I'm like, remember they, yeah, they, Alex yeah, Alex Steves. I'm like, wait, why would he be in this game? And it took me, and I'm going nuts now, going to Twitter. I'm like, who's oh my hurt God. that Alex Steves is on? Who's making the? 
It's not us here That's because if ugly. Gorillas Inc. was doing it, we wouldn't have that problem. That's awesome. Yeah, bastards. That is awesome. Watch that game tomorrow. And, and, oh, and, I'm going to watch these games. And you Trust know me. what? I, I, um, he, he got me excited to watch it. I tried Seriously. to get out of the cult. I, you know, the Maple Leaf cult. Because it is a blue how, It's so a how, disease. So how did he get him? How did he pry himself? Because he out started the, out. He started getting he started getting paid by the Fishler Report to go to games. You know, and the hockey buzz. So he had to be objective. He's got to be objective. Oh, okay. So he can't let it like he used to. He does a little. I see it a little, but. Well, sure, of course, it's always going to creep in. Because you could tell he's got that. Mm -hmm. You could tell he feels strongly about the Leafs. Yeah, well, disappointment. NFL. (laughs) The NFL. Here you go. The schedule. They had a show on ESPN to reveal this, (laughs) and people probably watched, I'm guessing. I, 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 I watched for a few minutes. I could take it. I thought it was what they had. I, I, Matt Probably. Stafford was on there. It had to be boring. I, it was boring. All they did was let him look at the schedule. <laughs> and like, so what do you think of that game? And that's literally what it is. The best part was the teams, the videos, their media Oh, yeah, you were saying released. the Chargers. Because the San Diego Chargers. L.A., L.A., L.A. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. L.A. Chargers. I know. It's hard, for, I guess. it's hard for me not to say that. The L.A. Chargers video mm. was the best that I've seen yet. I, I it won out of every all of them. It's the best. I gotta watch it. You I have seen it. It's all anime. And honestly, I don't know how long it takes to make that stuff, but it was if good. it ta- I think it takes a while. And it, I don't even know how much time they had to have put into this. It's pretty long. It's pretty. It's cool. Y- your uh, Buffalo Bills are the that opener cool. on September eighth, Thursday night at eight twenty at the Super Bowl champion Rams. Yes. So that's really going to be an awesome. Way to start, kick the season off for well, everyone. My feelings are yeah. that's that's that that should have been the Super Bowl matchup last season, but yeah. it wasn't because we didn't win. We didn't play hard enough. And it's we we're going to see it here. Seconds, and I I look forward to that. One thing about Thursday nights though, it's all Amazon. Yeah, I so know. the games are going to start. There's the way the so I got to pay things for are going yeah. on is those game games are going to start getting shot all over the place. Yeah. I guess Apple's going to be getting involved at some so point. So that means which is I most gotta... likely next season. Uh, Direct TV lost. Yes, sort of the NFL, NFL Sunday, Sunday ticket. ticket. Oh, so yeah. now, oh geez, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh yeah. my God, for me, are you kidding me? I've been living off that thing forever. Now, but now uh, that means it's pay per view. I got to pay for to watch the Thursday night how, game. I don't know how it's going to work. Well, if you don't have Amazon Prime, you can't watch them. So how much is is that a is that a monthly subscription? Fourteen ninety nine a month, baby. They got yeah. you, Johnny. Well, you know what? It's the only way to watch I, those games. I think I'm probably pretty I positive. I can't believe it. That's a. That, I don't like that it's at all. all. About the, because sure there's people out friend. there that can't afford it that love the game. There's that's, no that's way nonsense. you can watch those games. That's terrible. That's it's horrible. Amazon's actually. Prime Game yeah. of the Week is what it's considered. So it's that's. I don't know. That's yeah. what I heard. See, that's wrong of the NFL. See, that's where the NFL. They're just about the money. That's just garbage. Yeah, because there's going to be people that just can't. But by the way, did you look at all the? There's a lot of conference. Head to heads meeting up early, early, early. in the season yeah. that are going to have a mass, a big effect on on the playoffs. Right later on, yeah. I'm really kind of surprised that that they put those matchups in so early. Yeah, but I know. they're really spread throughout the whole well, year. Like I saw the, good. yeah, I saw gate week one Packers uh, Vikings yeah. and, and all kinds of what's that all about? Str- yeah, yeah, and then I mean, I, great viewers, but it's really the schedule's great. I love yeah. it. No, really, I do. I, was, I mean, I'm glad Buffalo's got as many primetime games. There's a lot of them that have all the same amount. Yeah. I have to ask a question. Mm-hmm. I have to ask a question, and maybe, and hopefully, you agree with me. If you don't, it's even better. Please tell me why the Dallas Cowboys have the same amount of primetime games. Well, it's simply because. Is just are they just get just because of their who the, mm-hmm. thing, the, the yeah that's the they're still living they're still, they're still living off the, the doomsday yeah the doomsday defense true. I'll tell you, man. The yeah, shows no. I watch ESPN and it's all the shows talk about it. And I'm like, why? Why? Yeah. Why? That's what it is. They wonder why people hate some. Most people hate the Cowboys. Yeah, you either hate them or you love them, right? Love them, but yeah. Well, yeah, they make There's a you. lot that's still. They, cr- yeah. they get crammed down your throat on every show on television. Yeah, no, I. Like I'm looking at I'm looking at Christmas, Christmas Day. How about that? A lot of games on Christmas Day. Three. There's that's that's three. Yeah. They're generally, yeah. it was one, wasn't it? They're never. Well, it just depended if it fell, if it on, fell a on a Sunday or Sunday, whatever. Right. Or if it fell on Because Christmas Day is a Sunday. Yeah. So they're playing all the games Saturday, right. except That's these three. Great. Nice game, too. Packers, Dolphins, Broncos, Rams, yeah. Bucks, Cardinals. That's great. great. Games. Love that. Big implications um, in a couple of them, too. Yeah. You uh, know, Bucks, Cardinals, that could that could be a big deal. Packers, Dolphins can be interesting. That'll be a hell of a game. Um, for sure. 
And sadly, on Christmas Eve, my Christmas Eve will be ruined as the Bills will be the, probably kill the Bears. So I have to watch that <laughs> oh, on Christmas he's Eve. Already planning for it. Yeah. I'm glad you're planning. Oh, for I it. know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Believe me, please. So I guess there's the point spread online that they've released, and Buffalo is favored in every single game mm-hmm. for the entire season. Yeah, even they the way games be. that they play. And they should be I'm because happy. they I'm, are I'm, the. Believe me, I. Odds I, as on. I said before, I know this doesn't last very How? long. Yeah, because it's only minus one. Ah. It's automatic three points right off the bat when you're the visiting team. Question for you, yes. because I've always had this with the Bears. Thanksgiving, 1230 Bears-Lions for a mo- lot. It's Bills-Lions at 1230. Do you like it? Love it. Do you? Love it. Do you know why? I like to get – I'm a big fan of the early afternoon football games. Me Those too. Are the games I like. I like it just my 12s and 4s. Yeah. Oh, you know, our ones and fours, however they yeah. work out, whatever that it is on the holidays and stuff like that. Those are the days. I I don't know. I don't really like the night games. I because I generally don't find myself watching them. If you got relatives over, it's mm. after dinner. You're talking, shooting yep. the breeze. I I generally don't pay Watch attention them. that much to the evening games. So on Thanksgiving, yeah, Giants Cowboys at four three. It's always the Cowboys. It's the tradition. Cowboys and Lions. And you know, uh, that's going to be an interesting game. I wonder how good the Giants are going to be. Yeah, it will be interesting. I honestly think you're going to see. I th- I mean, Daniel Jones isn't all of a sudden become going to become a superstar. But if they know how to play for to yeah. his strengths and have him run some more, I don't know. I mean, maybe they'll have a halfway decent. And season. if Saquon's going to be as good as you think, it could be a if good thing for them. You know, they say it takes two years. Right. This will be his second, second year. year, so this is where he should be the most back to normal. He's probably mm-hmm. going to get. And at night, Patriots at the Vikings. That'll be good at eight twenty. I love the late game on Thanksgiving, though. I love the eight twenty game because usually Do I don't talk really? to nobody. Get the hell out! Oh, I I, 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 there's nobody. <laughs> We're just sitting there, and I don't care. I don't want to see nobody. Oh, the late so, games! I generally don't I, even really you, watch. Them. Well, you, but while well, you're usually off, you you probably got you're taking days well, off. Got, but I know you work early. That's got to right. suck. Well, those games. Yeah, if you I know. have to work them all, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, believe me, man. I have to set my alarm and get up and check my phone to see the score just so I can. <laughs> top Monday night. The first Monday night game is uh, Russell Wilson going back to Seattle. I think it's going to be an absolute massacre. It should be. I think the Broncos are going to destroy them. If the Broncos, but should, it should be. They just might have lost their number one wideout for quite a while. Did you see what they said though? Yeah, I, I, everything. Yeah, I saw what he did, and it's a pretty. Did you see what the judge said though today? No, what did he say? Uh, he's everything's fine. There was no, there was no violent. Everything's fine. Don't do you go look it up. Don't worry, everything's good. He's fine. So they released him. No charges. Yeah. No nothing. Yep, he's good. Everything's fine. So all's well that ends somebody, well. So they, yeah, they I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Shady shit going yeah. on there, brother. Well, you got. He's there, in Arizona right? County. Yeah, he was in Arizona. Sure. Hasn't the Thanksgiving games been a tradition with the same teams? Yeah, yeah. Dallas, Dallas, and Dallas and Detroit, Detroit. always. Yeah, Detroit. Green the early, Bay Dallas. kind of fell on them for a little Bears. while, but it was. But it generally, was, it, wasn't. it was always Bears Lions when I was a kid. Yeah, it was Bears Lions for the most part. And, uh, usually, always Lions and uh, definitely Lions and definitely Dallas. Dallas. Yeah, yes. And Buffalo's then they've just been getting it. Just that late game. They've been putting this game the third year in a row for them. So the, that's awesome. The late that becomes game, a tradition. I love it. The late games. The good one always, it seems like, because the Lions stink and the Cowboys. Who knows? Yeah, usually the Lions yeah. game's horrible. Yeah, oh my it God. used to always be like the Lions against the Vikings or the, the Bears Vikings with like yeah. who's the quarterbacks? God, they were horrible. Oh, and Tommy back Kramer, back. a whole yeah. bunch of guys. <laughs> right, were, they'd know. be like your that's yeah. at your one o'clock game. You don't even watch it. Ah, uh, they had the one. The Bears well, played. Sanders, the, well, Sanders was playing when I was growing up for the most part. Craig so Krenzel. I, I watched him on on Craig and Krenzel. Drew Hutchinson Boy, for the hey. Bears against the Cowboys. You got a question for the NFL, right, Rep? Um, as I was looking through the schedule, one thing that stood out to me was the week four matchup, the Chiefs and the uh, Bucks. And I was just wondering what you guys think as far as uh, Mahomes and the Chiefs or Brady and the Bucks, who has a better chance at the Super Bowl this year? Probably the Bucks, only because to yeah. me the NFC is a little weaker, so maybe they'll have an easier I shot. I think they're going to sell right to it. They could. Um, Good chance. Kansas City is going to be in. I don't. They will be in it to the end. Got to um, see what that wideout does. Yeah, do, they, pretty, do they? Do they? They got Juju, right? And the, well, they got Juju, but you know, then the other guy. Uh, yeah, I can't remember now. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember, I remember so many of those receivers. But they still got, got Kelsey. Sky Moore, right? Yeah, yeah Sky, 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 Moore, Sky Moore. So they're going to be we'll fine. See how quickly yeah. him and Mahomes click. They'll be. I mean, they'll be fine. Is he? They'll be. Tyreek Hill's hard to replace. I don't know. I don't think you can. I really don't. I think you can put a Band-Aid on it, yeah. but you can't replace him. You would hope Mahomes. He was too talented. You would hope Mahomes is. You know what I mean. He yeah. better bring. This shouldn't fall apart. Well, that's going to tell yeah. you a lot, isn't it? Yeah. 
I think so. That's yeah. It's going to tell you a lot. But I think the Buccaneers probably have a b- easier road. But I also think some of these NFC teams, it'll be interesting. People are saying what they say now. Who knows? You know, well, you, got is, the, you got the Rams. You got the Rams. Apart. No, is this going to be there? Come on. I mean, no. really? He, he rides Come off on, into the dude. sunset. He'll be fine. He, Some, he, something. He, 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 something's got to give. You can't. We're going to find out this dude's been on HGH through his whole career. Maybe. I'm every joking. Team, every team going I wish. Yeah. Every team going against Ken, uh, in that division, they're, he's got a strong yeah, yeah, they're, they're all good. good. Yeah. Yes, the Chargers, the whole the whole group of yeah, guys. Yeah, Tampa over on the, in the NFC. They've got it's so weak over in the NFC. It's the like Rams, the Packers. Yeah, uh, I still the think the Giants. Uh, not the Giants. Jeez, the 49ers could be okay. It's going to depend I still on who's think quarterback. They're, and I don't. I think that's going to be a huge play with the 49ers. I, I also starting. think the Eagles are going to be decent. I think they're going to be better than the Cowboys. I think they're going to win the division. Um, Hurts, eh? I be... just don't think. It'll be as bad as every – the team that comes out of there is going to be good enough to beat the AFC team, whether it's the Bucs or the Rams. So that's, there might be the Rams again. They still are the perfect I th- I team, see, I, I can see yeah. the Rams because, you know, Cooper Cup is unbelievable. Yeah. And now that Stafford's had a year with him and an offseason, I think it's going to show. I mean, Stafford's playing like the, the guy we thought he was going to yeah. be in Detroit. I mean – So, to me, they're still – I mean – They're tough. I, I think mean, they're the top – To me, me wrong, man. To me – I mean, they lost if, Von Miller and yeah. then they replaced him. Yeah. So I mean, they they upgraded. I I, I, mean, I would the version of if I had to do it with That's a power right. ranking, they are one. I got to put Buffalo two, and then move on down the line, and probably a bunch of AFC teams, then a couple, then Tampa I'd swap five the top or something. Myself, I put Buffalo ahead of them. Even I against think, the Super Bowl. I just champion. think that they're. I just think they're younger, and I just think they're stronger. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll see. I mean, Aaron Donald's great, and I'm not taking anything away from him, but I think as a whole, I think the Bills. Are strong. They're just. They're in the Maple There's Leaf. more cohesion. Cohesion. They're than in the normal. Ma- they need to show me. And that's that. That to me, when you've gotten mm-hmm. that, that's that's something special to get as a team. They, I haven't seen that in Buffalo in, in years. They need the to family sh- act or the. Family, they the need team to show act it like a family, like they do. They, so like the Leafs, they got to they show got, it. But they've got to win it. They yeah, got to go they forward. I, I really truly yeah. think this is their year. I think they're going to win it all, just like if they don't. Else's plan. If they didn't, I'll be heartbroken. Do you think then? I don't, even, I don't even know what changes you make. I got to see what mistakes are made. Yeah, right, right. right. You can't say now. Right. right. Yeah, there's I mean, gonna, we're going to have listen, to see what happens. I'm going to tell you something for your Bills. But, I mean, they McDermott been, has not, never been not in the playoffs. They have been injury-free for a and long time, free. this team. I don't want injuries because I, I hate injuries. I don't want them either, but I think we got but a great my backup goodness. quarterback. Best quarterback, backup quarterback in football. Who is it? Case Keenum. I don't know if he's better than Trevor Simeon. Come on. Who wants the difference with him? Are you serious? Case Keenum's the best. It was the close to be. It was, they wouldn't even play him in Cleveland. They put the crap in Mayfield out there. Remember with the bad. Oh, my, I, well, we don't know. We still don't know the story. Yet, the whole. Uh, you don't want the you know, Jello arm out if there. That, I don't want him in there. But he, I, they I, lose. I, I think if I could trust him to win a game for me. Oh, one I, game. I would, okay. I'm not saying to fill in the rest of the season. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm right. saying like a Give spot you, start. Somewhere. Oh, I like yeah, him. Yeah, 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 I like him for that no, too. Definitely. No, I'm not. I'm not making him my starter. Yeah. Absolutely not. No way. It'll be interesting. But I fill it in, sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, the Rams. He's one of the more capable ones. He's the closest to being, he's the closest away from being when he was a star. I think the Bengals fall down a little. I don't think they're as good. I think as the everyone. Bengals are going to have don't major think they, reality checks. I think they may not make the playoffs. I think people are going to have tape on Jamar Chase, and that's going to change everything. I, I just, I just, think, I think they're going to play him completely different. And and as tough as the league has become over there, well, a lot of things are going to you know, change because of the tape on those rookies. Look forward that's to that's what the always Titans. happens. The second yeah. year is always a always is usually a, ba- a down year that, for or yes. average year. I like to see what the Titans do this year too, because I felt, you know, with that injury. It Boy, kinda, I'll tell you what, just, man. And he I think better hope have a he good, does something. I because think, if he doesn't, because of what's played out in public, that the, the fan base will turn on you in a New York. I think Tanny Hill will have a good one this year. I think he's I got so he much motivation, I right? I like him. I've I do too. I really do, and I think he. And I do think, and I know this is Wade's guy. Wade likes this guy. I, I kind of secretly do too. Jalen Hurts doesn't bother me. I have a feeling that the Eagles. I'm not saying they're winning a Super Bowl. But they I think could they might can be able take to win a step forward. 10, 11 games. For sure. Well, they should. this is the year he should take yeah. a step forward. They've, they've they got, got a they, lot they of talent did so on that much team, man. On he's got day. to. And, I mean, uh, you have to. Putting all those pieces in place, man. And he's going to be worth um, I know. No, it's a good. And there's others, and I'm forgetting, unfortunately, who else they draft, things they right. brought in to go with Devontae Smith. I just know that so, they loaded up. And they look they, good. They look good. They should take a step forward for sure next season. I do like, um, you know, 
there's so I, I still say Denver's not as good as everyone thinks. I don't think Green I don't, Bay's gonna do, I don't uh, even think Green Bay's gonna win their division. They might not. The I, I'm gonna bet good. for them not to. And I don't think Denver's gonna make the playoffs. I don't see I think, that team as good as everyone says. Boy, they have crowned him. Yeah, and I don't know why. They have man, he is just the king of the NFL, is he not? He does yeah. Russell is he's that guy's like untouchable. But what in the world has happened over there other than him? He's a, he's like he's Mr. Nice Guy, man. Yeah. He's like Except he's when like, he wasn't that one time when he tried to act. Remember that time when he was laying in bed yelling out or whatever he was saying? He had that big chain on. That was so funny because it was so out of character. He's, a, he's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. That was. A, oh, no doubt. Uh, so anyways, I uh, I love this too. I do love the schedule release. I mean, I look at the. They've turned it into a real spectacle, though, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at some of these games before we get going. I mean, Bill's Titans is the second Monday night game of the year. That's great. Uh yeah, Buffalo's got some pretty um, big games at the beginning of the unfortunately, season. Unfortunately, Wade, the Bears Patriots on uh, October 24th. That Hopefully should that should be a great time. Um the Patriots will pound them. Uh yeah, Rams Packers. It's good. There's they got the, the primetime games are unreal. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot and of really And guess what? Good games. These friggin' Thursday night games shouldn't be the Jaguars and Jets no more if I got to pay 14.95 a month. You I know what I mean? The Jaguars were like the second These best bas- amount of primetime <coughs> games. I think they got one. <coughs> Jaguars, Jets. I don't need they that. They got the they got the Thursday night game. That was it. Yeah, I don't want it. That's the only night they get. <laughs> because they're making me pay. That's I don't a want rule. This. That's a rule. They I, have to. Everybody gets one Thursday. I don't want it because the Texans <laughs> shouldn't be on there. Because I'm paying for it. I know what you're they're saying. They're killing you us. You might as well just cash it. You don't even want to watch because it's going to be that horrible. It just makes me mad because there are going to be someone, a lot of someones and kids. Look at young parents. Can't, that sucks. You're taking a whole group of people out of watching NFL football on a Thursday night because you need 14 night. That, that league's a piece of garbage sometimes. It really is. I'm kind of shocked that they yeah. did it. I really am. They pissed me to off. Get, take, to give away the Thursday night games like that. But, hey, you know, I, Amazon. I, Jeff Bezos says, I got a rocket and I got yeah, Thursday yeah, right? night football. And I got to make sure I charge you, idiot. <laughs> Son of a gun. 14 99 for the next. Uh, All right. We should probably go. It's we're, we're over time. So, Scott, first time me and you together. Good show. Yeah, great and show. Enjoyed it, guys. Had Mike, he was great, too. Yeah, Wade, Fantastic. thank you. Robin, thank Thanks, you. Um, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, you will see uh, me. On the wrestling yeah, show, the, yeah, because Charlie Turner is, um, he's got a, he's got some pri- work I think he's got to do, so he won't be in. I, I gotta find so out if he's got old my buddy Mike to come in, man. Yeah. He's, he's he's got the ends. So me and Chris DiCarlo will he's mix got it the up. Inside stuff in professional wrestling and uh, Citizens United is starting to heat up on Mondays, so uh, start to tune in because we're starting to get a little bit more uh, active. You'll see. Anyways. We'll be back next week. Thanks to Micah Jello, and thanks to you for watching. Take care.